If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Max offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. Alright, hello. Uh, in this video, I will show you how you can install a code meter, which just requires a to verify all your licenses from Antares Auto Tune Nine. Technically, a code meter what it acts is acts like an anti cheat system, basically just to verify they're using the software legitly. Which is without code meter, you just cannot register or run the license checks on the Auto Tune. So technically, there's a page how to install code meter and some people have a problem installing which is will not install so there's a link where you can click for Mac OS or Windows but this time we only do it for Mac OS so when you download a code meter when request uh, you need to launch it but when it comes to installation procedure it will not install code meter inside the computer it might install on the newer systems, but it has a problem installing on the older systems, which just requires to install a code meter. So when I run installation procedure, it comes with an installation failed, which just doesn't allow it to install a code meter. If you have that specific problem, what you need to do, you need to go to recovery and you need to disable SIP. So as you see here, it shows a code meter here, but it might not work perfectly fine. So what you want to do, you want to actually restart the machine. And while it's restarting, which is I'm going to do now, you might want to do actually hold Command and R to go to recovery option. Just hold it until the Apple logo shows up. So I'm going to hold it like for good, like at least 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So just make sure you hold that until you see an Apple logo. So as you see an Apple logo, without loading around, just let it go. Uh, it does take like a minute or two to load up, but that's how usually recoveries do load up. Uh, the reason why you need to disable system integrity protection is because uh, and, uh, code meter, technically it works as an anti-cheat, which is requires a root uh, like a root level privileges to run the software which is partially based is basically going to install an extension that is located as a system level or root level so disabling SAP is actually straightforward you just need to go to terminal type one command key and it will disable so just wait for that to load up and that's pretty much it all right, so since the recovery is loaded, I'll also just select the language and the key component you just need to go to is terminal. So click on utilities, terminal. Usually in all OS X is the same layout. So, and make sure you type this command. So the command is CSRUTIL, CRUTIL, disable. Hit enter. Since you get a success, sometimes might require to type the password. So just type the password on your main computer. But I didn't need to do that. And just type reboot to reboot the machine. And your SIP should be disabled, which is basically will allow you to successfully install uh, install code meter on your Mac. And then after that, you should be able to work with outage. So. So let's just wait for this load up, that should take a bit longer, shorter, so back to the system. Alright, so yeah, back to code meter, just, uh, you don't need to download again, but I'm just gonna find code meter, my downloads. Run the code meter again. Click continue. Agree. Mm. 
And now your code meter has successfully been installed. You can give the trash up to you. And to verify code meter. Yeah, code meter is perfectly fine. And now after that you can proceed with your with your anti-terrorist auto G9 installation procedure and registration and licensing. Okay? Alright, thank you for watching. Hopefully that helps.